I recently had my second round of stem cell therapy down in Costa Rica. Now, if you're wondering if I still think getting stem cell therapy was worth it, stick around. You might be surprised. I know I was. Okay, so at the end of January, I returned to Costa Rica for my second round of stem cell therapy at Regenerative Medicine Institute in San Jose. I had several of the same therapies done again, but I also got some new therapies, things I hadn't done before. So about a year and a half ago, RMI contacted me and asked me to undergo regenerative therapy at their expense and then to create a video about my experience going through regenerative therapy at RMI and about my results. Now, this video was for their patients, not for my YouTube channel. Now, of course, I wanted to talk about it on this channel and they generously agreed to not only allow me to do that, but to report honestly about whatever my results were, good or bad. I posted a video about my first trip down there a little over a year ago. Now, I've been wanting to do a second video about my second trip but it takes a few months for the therapies to fully express themselves. Well, it's been a few months, the results are in, and so it's time to create that second video. Okay, so the first time I went down, they did some of the procedures that they offer, but not all of them. So it was a little difficult to report on my experiences with procedures that I hadn't done for the video that I was making for RMI. So this time, I had some additional procedures done just so that I could experience them and report on them for the video. First off, before I went down, RMI sent me several tests to take. They then compared those test results with the tests that I had taken the first time I went down to see if there was any improvement. This included blood tests that were drawn by a lab here in Portland, as well as at-home tests. And one of these was another round of biological aging tests by True Diagnostics. Then, when I went down to Costa Rica, RMI did some more testing, most of that being functional aging tests, things like grip strength and balance. They also did an in-body scan to determine my level of body fat and muscle mass. Now, when I initially went down to RMI in April of last year, they harvested my own stem cells. So the first procedure that I had done was that I got my own stem cells transfused back into my body. I also had my second round of plasmapheresis. Now this was pretty much all the stuff that I had done before. But this time I had a couple of new procedures done. First, I had a facial procedure done. This consisted of injecting umbilical derived mesenchymal stem cells into my face. Now these are stem cells that RMI harvest from a, from a maternity ward that's literally next door. One of the biggest hospitals in Costa Rica is across the street from RMI. They have pregnant women who, when they give birth, have donated their umbilical cords. RMI track these women through their pregnancy, providing prenatal care and supplements. When these women deliver, there's a doctor present who harvests the umbilical cords and then walks them across the street to RMI's lab. There, they go through a number of rigorous testing, filtering, and expansion protocols. Now, I want to point out that this is actually kind of unusual. Most stem cell clinics have MSCs or mesenchymal stem cells shipped to them from commercial labs. And shipping can have a dramatic impact on their viability. Most stem cells shipped from commercial labs have a viability rate that's as low as 5%. Now, since RMI harvests their own stem cells, their viability rate is usually around 90%. Now, that's a big difference. So, like I said, they injected these umbilical-derived MSCs into my face while I was under sedation. Now, at the same time, they also performed a microneedling session on my face, and then they gave me some solutions and lotions to use on my face a couple of times a day for the next two or three months. I also had a procedure done for ED, or erectile dysfunction. Since I'm a 74-year-old man, my junk isn't really working as well as it could. Now, I've been pretty open about this and have talked about ED quite a bit on this channel, and I've shared my results from all the different interventions that I've tried. And although I wasn't really expecting it, this ED stem cell procedure that I had done at RMI produced the most dramatic results that I've experienced out of everything I've done for ED. Now, more on that in a minute. Okay, so the ED procedure had several different components. First, they injected umbilical-derived MSCs into my penis. Now, this happened at the same time as the facial procedure, so it was while I was still under sedation, so none of this stuff hurt at all. At the same time, they also performed another procedure 
called shockwave therapy, where they blast my junk with ultrasound. Finally, as part of the procedure, I did 30 minute sessions in a hyperbaric chamber three times over a couple of days. Okay, before I get into the results, I just want to let you guys know that my online course, Introduction to Longevity, is now available to the public and open for enrollment. I did a beta launch, went through all the feedback, made revisions, and did some final polishing. That's all done, and I've opened it up so that you guys now have access to it. If you want to check it out and learn more, there's a link right up here or below in the description. Also, and now that the course is wrapped up, there's more time to devote to this channel. So in the weeks to come, you should see a lot more content being posted. Okay, are you ready to hear the results? Let's dive in. First, let's take a look at the test results. After I was back about a month, I got my test report from RMI and I was actually pretty pleased with it. I lost weight, I gained a little over four pounds of muscle, and I brought my body fat percentage from 20.7% down to 15.4%. That's a drop of over 5%. Testosterone levels were great. Inflammation markers were way down. My Dunedin pace of aging came in at 0.76. That means that I'm only aging three quarters of a year with each year that passes, which is, which is great. And my biological age came in at 61.3, which is about 12 years younger than my chronological age. I gotta love that. In fact, my results of the True Diagnostics Biological Aging Test were so good that it put me in 12th place in Brian Johnson's Rejuvenation Olympics. Gotta be happy with that. Okay, let's take a look at the results I got from the last session of regenerative therapy. RMI told me that I should not expect to see much in the way of actual physical results from the therapies I received for three to four months. That's why I've waited so long to do this video. But the results are in and I'm going to share them with you. Now, when I first did stem cell therapy, I reported that all my chronic aches and pains that I've associated with aging had gone away. I'm happy to report that that's still the case. I occasionally get acute aches and pains in response to working out or sleeping wrong, but it never lasts. All the chronic pains are still gone. I also reported a big jump in my athletic performance. Now, this time I didn't experience a similar boost, but the boost that I got the first time hasn't gone away. I'm still performing at that same heightened level, so I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, let's talk about my facial procedure. Now, in all honesty, I just did this procedure so that I could report on my experience in an update of the video that I made for RMI. I didn't really expect that I would experience any real improvements in facial aging, but I did. The tone and texture of my skin is better. Now, I don't know if there are any fewer wrinkles, but my skin seems less coarse. Now, the big improvement is in the skin of my neck. Before, I had a couple of problems. First, like most guys my age, my jawline was starting to sag and the skin beneath my chin was getting really droopy. But the real problem was that all the skin on my neck was becoming very crepey. It had lost a lot of elasticity and was really starting to look like crepe paper. So the stem cell therapy completely took care of the crepey skin. It's like gone. That came as a complete shock, not expected at all. And here's what I really didn't expect because the therapy is just supposed to impact the skin, not the underlying structures. My jawline has firmed up. Now the skin under my chin is still droopy, but it's not nearly as bad as it once was. So I gotta say, I'm really happy with the results. Now let's talk about the ED procedure. RMI claims that their ED procedure is the one that gets the best results. So I gotta admit, I was honestly hoping for some improvement there and they came through. Now I'm gonna get real here. This is my experience and I'm gonna share it with you in all its gory details. First off, my erections are much improved. Not like they were when I was in my 20s or 30s, but pretty close, way better than they were. My erections are both firmer, harder, and they last longer. They're easier to maintain. And my libido seems to have also improved. And that makes no sense to me, but you know, there it is. Now, here's where it gets really weird. I seem to have an improved ability to ejaculate. Now, as a 74 year old man, not only was my libido waning, but I could only ejaculate about half the time. Now, it's more like four out of five times. Again, makes no sense to me, but you know, there you have it. So after my second round of stem cell therapy, do I think that it's worth it? Not only yes, but hell yes. In fact, 
After my second round, I'm even more convinced than ever that it's the way to go. RMI has made a believer out of me. Now, like I said, this has been my experience. One thing I've learned on my longevity journey is that everyone's different. Everyone responds differently to different therapies, to different protocols. You might not respond the same way that I did. But for me, it's been a game changer and I'm definitely going to keep it as part of my longevity regime. To me, it's totally worth it. Okay, that's it for this video. Now, I wanna remind you guys to check out my online course, Introduction to Longevity. Now, there should be a link right down here and I should be back next week with a new video. I'll see you then. I'm out of here.